Hi everyone, and thanks very much for tuning in. Today, we will be learning about the NIH Common Fund and patents that its programs have produced. The Common Fund is a unique funding entity at the NIH, functioning as a venture capital space for high-risk and innovative research with the potential for extraordinary impact. Common Fund programs are short-term, goal-driven investments intended to catalyze research across multiple biomedical disciplines. The Common Fund's research portfolio includes more technology and resource development than the NIH portfolio as a whole, which should mean it produces more patentable ideas and technology. But does it? We crunch the numbers to find out. It's important to remember there are multiple steps before a patent is granted to an individual. The patent process starts when an inventor, or in our case a scientist, files for a patent application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. The patent application is then reviewed before a patent award is made. There is no defined time frame for this process, but on average it takes about three years. After a patent award is made, it prevents others from making or selling that invention for a period of time. Our first analysis was to look at how many patent applications and patent awards the Common Fund has generated since it began in 2004. As early Common Fund programs matured and new Common Fund programs were developed, the number of patent applications and patent awards increased each year. It is important to remember that the number of patent applications in a given year does not correlate with the number of patent awards given that year. Next, we wanted to see how patent applications and awards from Common Fund supported programs compare to the NIH as a whole. To account for the larger number of research grants issued by the NIH, we looked at the number of patent applications or patent awards per research grant. These data show there are approximately 11 patent applications per 100 grants for Common Fund supported programs. By comparison, there are approximately 1.4 patent applications per 100 grants for the entire NIH research portfolio. This trend holds true for patent awards as well. Common Fund supported programs generate approximately 5 patent awards per 100 grants, while the NIH as a whole generates approximately 1 patent award per 100 grants. These results support our hypothesis that Common Fund supported programs may lead to more patents. This is not surprising since the Common Fund is intended to support research that moves science in new directions and provides resources to the research community. The research portfolio of the whole NIH is more balanced, supporting some risky and resource-directed research, but also less risky but essential research projects that enhance our understanding of all biological fields. Now we know that Common Fund supported programs are successful at generating innovative results that lead to patents, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. What good is this information if we don't have some success stories to look at? One success story comes from the Common Fund Molecular Libraries and Imaging Program, which ended in 2015. This program supported research that led to the development of a new drug called Azanamod, which is used to treat patients with relapsing multiple sclerosis. This drug just entered the new drug approval process with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In addition to developing new drugs, Common Fund researchers have developed patents in other biomedical fields. A prime example comes from the research of Dr. Charles Lieber, a recipient of the NIH Director's Pioneer Award. A major component of Dr. Lieber's research focuses on the implantation of electronic devices into different materials, including biological tissues. Dr. Lieber's research has led to patents to monitor brain activity as well as test the stress and strain of building materials. And that wraps up our study on how research supported by the NIH Common Fund generates new ideas that can lead to patents. The Common Fund was designed as a venture capital space for the NIH. These results highlight how many programs supported by the Common Fund serve as a venture capital space by developing innovative, transformative, and patentable results. For a more in-depth look at our patent study, and to find more information on exciting Common Fund programs, make sure to check out our website at commonfund.nih.gov. And thanks very much for watching.